so okay good morning to everyone uh in the previous classes we have seen the event handling mechanism event handling and uh, listeners that is used for event handling we have seen that and from there the disadvantage we've gave that all the methods should be override because it is an interface so today we will see another type of a thing that is the layout manager and this is also an interface now layout manager is basically it is also an interface and it is also used in the graphics programming layout means the designing which in the awt programming when i have done that i said that there is a layout if we uh, write null that means the default layout in the java is chosen so say there are some layout layout that is present in the java and this layout manager interface is used for the graphics programming and through this the layout can be done so basically it is used to arrange components in the particular manner so all the components that is basically checkbox radio box buttons text field all the components this components how these components can be arranged this is done using the layout manager so it is basically the arrangement arrangement of the components in the particular manner and it is an interface that is implemented by all the classes of the layout manager now the basically i am trying to say that layout manager like if this is a window you see this is a window now in this window i say that first in left side corner there will be a text box and beside the text box beside the text box there should be a button present or below the text box there should be another text box present or any button present so means the arrangement all the arrangement of the components all the arrangements of the components in, is done by the layout manager so we have four types of layout manager present now what are the four types of layout manager border layout manager card layout manager flow layout manager and grid layout manager this four layout manager is used for designing for the layout of the program or the layout of the frame we can say for this is the layout manager is used now the first type we will first discuss the first type of layout manager that is the border layout manager now in this border layout manager it is divided into five regions so border layout manager is divided into five regions means the entire region entire region means the total window the total window in this the window is the used so the total window or the total frame we can say the total frame is divided into five parts the total frame will be divided into five parts and each region has a particular name the topmost name it is divided means this window is divided into five parts and each five parts has a particular name the topmost part this part this part is known as the north region and the bottom part the bottom part is known as the south region the left side part this part this part is known as the west region and this part this part is known as region so we divide we divide the window or the frame into the five parts for designing purpose these five parts are divided into five parts and these are the five parts okay so there is a condition then in each region can contain only one component that the each region this total five regions are present and in each region 
it contains one component. Now, which component lie in which region is identified by? Now, which component will be present in which region? This will be identified by north, south, west, east, center. Okay. So now if we want to design, let's say, if we want to design a frame, if we want to design a frame and in this frame, the five regions are present. So what we have to do first, we have to, we everything, every time, first we have to create the object. So we are wanting that in our frame, they, they are in this frame, there will be five region present. And in this five region, if you see in this five region, there will be each region, there will be a button present. So we want to design like that. So for designing like that in the frame layout, we have to first, what we have to do? First, we have to create the object of frame class. Otherwise we cannot use the frame. So that's why you can see first, I have created the frame class object. First, you see that I have created the frame class object. I am not writing the full code here, only the logical part, which should be included in the program. I am use that only. Okay, I am writing that only, but you have to do in the program when you will do in the program, you have to total write the, all the codes. But here I have written only the codes that is useful for this, that is useful for only designing on the layout purpose, okay? So first, if we want to use that in our layout, it should be a frame. And in this frame, there will be five region present. And in each region, we wanted that in each region, a button should be present. So what we have to do first, we have to first create the frame class object. That's why you see, I have created the frame class object, frame F equal to new frame. That means frame class object is created. And as a parameter, you see the layout is passed. Means our frame, the name which should be layout. The frame name should be layout. Now, after this, what the frame is created of name layout. Then I have to what? I have to divide the frame into five regions. Now, we, when we have to divide the frame into five regions, so for this, we know we have to create the border layout object. Otherwise, in border layout, in the border layout type, the five regions is divided. So we have to use the border layout class. We have to create the border layout class object. So that's why you see with frame class object, if we call the method set layout. Through this set layout, the layout, the layout, how the layout will looks like, it will be set through the set layout method. Now in the set layout method, you see, I have passed the border layout class object. So that means because I have to use in set layout border class layout class object, because I wanted to divide the frame into five regions. So which layout does that? Border layout does that. So that's why I have to pass it as an object, border layout class object. And the set, what the set layout functions will do? Set layout functions will the set the layout. It will set the layout. So now how the layout, layout will looks like? It will be set by the set layout method. And as an object, you can see I am passing the border layout class object. So that means through f dot set layout and as a parameter, we are passing border layout class object. That means our object, that object, the border layout class object and the frame clear layout is set to the border layout. Now our frame, which we have created is set to the border layout. That means now we able to divide the frame. Otherwise we're not able to divide the frame into five parts because through this, we can say calling through this method after calling through this method. Now our frame, our frame is attached to the border layout. So now 
we can divide the flame into five regions. So after dividing the regions, after dividing it into the regions, what we have to do? I said that I want that in each region, I want to add a component. So for adding a component, we have to like, there are five regions present. So in five regions, if each region contain one component, that means five regions will contain five component. Now we want that in this region, a button, each, each region, a button should be added. So the five buttons should be added. Now, how we'll add the buttons? We know already that add method is called through. So you can see through add method, you can see through what this add method, we have added the button first. F dot add means frame class object. So frame class object, we call the add method. And in add method, you see we are passing two parameters. The first parameter will define the button, the, the name of the button, and second parameter will define in which region the button should be added. So that's why you see f dot add b1. It is on will be implemented in the north region. Next, f dot add b2 south. That means b2 button will be added in the south region. I have not done all others. Then if we want to add button, like the B3 button should be added in the West. Then we add F dot add B3 comma West. Then if we add fourth button B4 into the East, then what we'll write F dot add B4 and in the B South, uh, East region. And at last there is a center. So F dot add, B5 and it is added onto the center. So all five buttons will be added in the each region. So that's how we can perform using the border layout manager. So basically border layout manager, if we say that border layout manager, if we want to divide, if we want to divide that our layout should be divided into regions. If we want that type of C, then we use that uh, border layout manager interface. So using this, we can divide our uh, example or divide our uh, layout into five regions. Okay, so that's how this layout manager, this type layout manager works. Clear? It is clear. So this is the first type of the layout manager. Now the second type of layout manager is what? The second type of layout manager is the card layout. Now, Card layout arranges each component in the container as a card. Now in border layout, we have seen that we have divide it into five parts or in the best of regions. Card layout does that it arrange the components in the pack of cards order. Now, if you, if you visit, visit, try to visit that in card layout, how we can use now, if we see a stack of cards, if we see the stack of cards, that the, we only what we will see, the topmost card we will able to see. And the cards which are present will be beside it. The topmost card will be seen and beside them the cards will be present. But other cards is not visible. Only the topmost card is visible. So that's like a pack of cards looks like so if we wanted, if we wanted this, if we wanted to look like this, our card to look like this, our layout should be look like this, then what we will do, we will use it the card layout manager. So 
in card layout manager the components are stacked as a card components are looks like as a pack of cards so here so what we have to do first because we want it this layout it should be applicable for our frame so that's why you see we have done we have used the frame frame class of object we have created because we want that it looks like in the frame So it will be look like in the frame. And in this frame, you see that what I have to do that the stack of it, the, our frame will look like the stack of the cards. So I have what I have to do. I have to create the frame class object first. So that's why you see I have created the frame class object because our frame should be looked like this. So that's why the frame class object is created. Now we want that in our card or this layout, the in this a button will be pressed. And if the button, this button is pressed, then the next card or the next layout should be shown. So we look wanted that it looks like that. So for this reason, you see, we have to what we have to do. We have to use the button. We have to use the button because we wanted to see that our layout should be looks like this card layout like and here in layout first what will be seen the card one will be seen and in this card a button will be pressed and after pressing the button the next card will be shown so we wanted to see like this so that's reason what we have to do we have to first create the frame because this should be attached to the frame and after attaching the frame, the buttons are created because we want that after pressing a button, next card will be shown. So button should be placed here. So after pressing the button, we should create, I have uh, here, you can include, I have not written that. You include that button should be the button which you use. We, what we have to do? We have to create the object of that button. We have to create the object of that button. So here, button B1 and B2. So after that, the statements will be written, B1 equal to new button, B2 equal to new button. So that means the button is created. Now the card layout. Now the card layout, this will be the interface, uh, our card, card layout uh, class, sorry, not card layout object will be created. So that's why you see that card layout card and again equal to new card layout okay so that's how what the card layout will be created the card layout will be created and after that if dot add card one b1 means we want that button b button b1 will be placed on the card one so that's why what we should have to do we should have to call with the frame class object add method so add method will be called to the object of the frame class because the frame is now look like a pack of cards. So we wanted that in the top, in the card one, there will be B1 present. So what we have to do, we have call the object through object of the frame class, we call the add method. And then this add method, we fast that in the topmost layout, it will be name of card one and in this card one the one button name b1 will be placed in that so through this method it will be looks like this that card one and in this card one a b1 button is used and next like we want another card so that's why you use again f dot add method and card to b2 means after this card another card will be placed beside it or it will be of name card one sorry not uh, it will be name of card two and there will be the button present that is b2 okay so it looks like that our frame is as looks like as a uh, card structure or as a card and in this the layout is divided and 
the first is the card one next is the card two and card one there is a button b1 present and next card there is name is card two and in this card two b2 button is b2 button is placed so it looks like that but now we wanted that if we press the button b1 then the next card will be shown so how we can do this if you think if you think that it is an like an event means what i have uh, discussed in the previous class that after pressing some button or this so after pressing the button the event is generated now what is the event generated the next card will be shown this is the event so the event generated by the button which interface handle that action listener interface handle that so that's why you see button b1 dot add action listener this keyword is used means this keyword will currently what this keyword will currently reference to the this keyword will currently instance using registration button b1 is added with the action listener this is the action listener because why i should use the action listener class because we what we are thinking that if we press button b1 then the next card will be shown so this is the event and this event is generated by whom this event is generated by b1 button so what type of uh, interface handle that that the event generated by the button action listener action listener interface handle that remember that action listener that it handles that of type of um, event so what we have to do we have to know that the registration process should be done so for this registration purpose what we have to use our button should be used as a inter, uh, button b1 is added with the action listener means the registration process is done okay so now if we click button b1 then the next card card 2 will be open so this event will be handled and you see there is a main class and in this main class what in this main class what we want to show we want to show that the next card so here you can see card dot next this method card dot next card is the what card layout object card layout object is the card so through card we call the next method and in this next method see as a parameter we are passing frame class object now what this method will do what it will use to display the next card means in our example it is the card 2 so that's how a card layout manager works so basically what we are performing that our frame that our frame should look like as a pack of cards our frame should look like as a pack of cards so what what i have to do i have to first create the frame then in this frame what i want that it looks like a pack of cards and the it there will be a button placed in the each card so here you can see first i have created a frame frame class object then the button class object is created after that what the card layout the card layout this performs this designing so that's why what we have to use we have to create the card layout class object and after creating the object the button should be added in the each card after adding the button we want that pressing a button the next card will be shown that means it is a event and this event is generated by whom this event is generated by the button so that's why wh which type of event handling uh, interface we have to use that button generated any interface it is handled by the action listener so that's why we use the add action listener method and what this method will what do is that this method will do that b1 button b1 button is added to the action listener means now if b1 button is pressed then some event will be generated through this command we say that and after that what 
we wanted to see that after pressing button B1, the next card will be shown. This card will be shown using card.next means card is the card layout manager uh, card layout object. And through this object, next method is called. And as a next method, we pass the parameter as the frame class object. That means after pressing B1 button, the next card will be shown. And in this next card layout, the name of this next card layout is card2. And there will be a button B2 present. Now, if we wanted that B2 button also has some event after pressing that occurs, then we have to what? Then we have to add B2 button with the action listener. But here I have not done that. That means B2 button is only a button. It doesn't generate any event. So this card layout manager is used like this. Clear? Kisi ka koi question se? Priya, Shupriya, Avishek. Clear, sir. So that's how our this layout manager, card layout manager works like this. Now our next layout manager that is present is the flow layout. Now in this layout manager used to arrange the components in a line, one after another, means the components are arranged. Here first I have seen in the border layout, the components are arranged in the region as a region. Now in card layout, it is the arrangement of the components are in the order of a pack of cards or a stack of cards. And this layout manager, what this layout manager? This layout manager is used to arrange components in a line, one after another, means the components are placed beside one another and it is the arrangement in one line. Now, this is the default layout. This is the default layout that Java follows. That if we doesn't mention anything, that means Java follow, following the flow layout manager. It is the default layout. Now, how it will can how it is shown, how it looks like, it looks like this that the buttons are the present like this. First B1, beside them a B2, beside them a B3. See a line. It is like a line. One after another, it is stored in a line. And what you can see after this, the, there is a no space. Then next you can see that if the ends here, if the, our window size is like that. After pressing B1, B2, B3, our we have end reached the position ending. Then B4 and B5 will be again placed like this. So one by one, one by one, our components will be arranged. So what, how we can perform this? We can first either I have not written that, but first we have to use that. Our we have to create the frame class object. And after creating the frame class object. Through the frame class object, we have to call set layout method. And in, in this set layout method, as a parameter, we have to pass the object of the flow layout. This is the object of the flow layout. So that means now our frame is attached with the flow layout. So after that, we will add the button one by one. That through how if dot add method, we will add the button that how many buttons there should be present. We will add that using f dot add method so if we want five then f dot add b1 after that f dot add b2 then f dot add b3 then f dot add b4 then f dot add b5 so means first what you have to use first you have to create the frame frame class object and after this frame class object you call the set layout method and in this set layout method you passed the object of the set layout which you are using and after that, the components you want to add into your frame will be done. So that's how flow layout manager works. And 
the last type is the last type which we use is the grid layout the last type is the grid layout and in this grid layout the container is divided into grid or cells means the container the arrangement of the components is done into grid of cells means according to rows and columns the components are accommodated so in each cell accommodates one component so each cell can contain like order layout manager each cell can contain one component like here also that each cell accommodates one component so you can see there are we say that there are three rows and four columns present so that means you see there are three rows and four columns so total how many cells will be present there total 12 cells will be present there so in 12 cells there will be if we want to add in each cell a button then it will what then it will be 12 button present so then there will be 12 button present but we do not want this we only want small amount so how we can do this first same as that for all layout managers you have to create the object of frame class and after that you have to call the through a frame class object set layout method and in this set layout method the layout you are using that layout object should be passed same as that here we are using grid layout so here first here i have not written that that frame class object should be created and through this object set layout method should be called through set layout method and in this set layout method as a parameter i am passing the grid layout object so passing the grid layout object means here you are mentioned in this grid layout three comma two that means three rows two columns and in this three rows two columns the buttons will be added now how it will looks like three comma two that means how many cells are present six cells are present so we can you if we want to add buttons then we can add six buttons into the six cells so this will be button b1 button b2 b3 b4 b5 b6 so that means six buttons we can place in the six cells so that's how grid layout works so these are the total four types of layout present to design mainly these layouts are what these layouts are the arrangement of the components layout is basically the arrangement of the components how in your graphics programming how in your graphics programming the components can be arranged is done by this layouts now what type of layout you should use it is up to you that what you use border layout either card layout or flow layout or grid layout but if you in the layout you have seen that i have first when i have used a program first when i have used an awt simple program in that time i have used layout null now whenever you write layout null that means no layout is chosen so the default layout will be activated by the java so default layout of the java will be the flow layout so in that order the arrangement of the components will be done okay so clear to everyone yes sir okay or kisi ka koi questions hai in anyone marshal ravi so this is all about the layout manager so anyone has any question
if anyone no one has any question then so in next class we will see the others thing like the adapter class the uh, topic which i have been left we will discuss it in the next class okay so thank you everyone i am ending the session so i will upload the notes in the lms about if you see now in the lms all the notes are present so study from that and i have not uh, some of the previous if you see uh, i have not the syllabus is not attached i have not attached it if you see that there are some topics left and the topics the, in the some modules there are some topics that is already i have been taught you in the object oriented class so please refer from that object oriented class the topic Okay.